18 to 12, this Eagles team grinds out a W, and I said this team could do it. I said they will grind out an ugly, ugly offensive game, and their, their defense will win them the football game, and that's exactly what they did. 18 to 12. It was 6 to 3 at half. The first half was hideous. We were booing our team, but that's just out of love. That means pick it up. That's what that means. Some sloppy play calling, I thought, out of Doug Peterson in the first half. Nick Foles obviously struggling a little bit. And then our defense, at one point early, they were kind of giving up some chunk plays, but they figured it out after that, and they were obviously the reason we won this football game. I mean, outstanding. There were some situations that I think we need to clean up. Sullivan, on the punt, you can't be touching that football and giving the Falcons an opportunity in our zone. No, no, no. That cannot happen. That is inexcusable inexcusable Zach Ertz missing a couple passes today on on third and crucial downs ones that are easy to catch and he should have gotten without a doubt and Derek Barnett lined up in the neutral zone when we get a huge sack by Fletcher Cox which let their drive continue now Russell Douglas did come up with a huge interception at that point but we have some things to clean up It's week one, I get it. It's week one and we just beat a really, really good Falcons team. Their red zone continues to struggle. We did get a little bit lucky. Julio Jones made a catch, did not make a catch. It was ruled no catch, but but he did. He made it, without a doubt. But hey, you got to get lucky sometimes. Jay Ajayi, come on. Ho, 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 two touchdowns today. An absolute beast. I mean, this was back and forth, an emotional game, and a huge win. A huge win. It, it is such a difference maker to start this season off 1-0 and without any real weapons on the side. I mean, Mike Wallace <sighs> didn't get too much going. Nelson Aguilar got a lot of balls in the slot. I will say, Corey Clement did not get that many touches today. But when he did, especially late in that ball game, he was explosive and made the most of them. He had a really crucial big-time run. Darren Sproul was getting some time. How about Jason Peters? He hasn't played football in how long he comes out there. Come on. Nick Foles settled in. Our, our, our second half was just beautiful. Oh, man. What a good win. What a great win this football team had. <laughs> Hey, how about this? Um, The Philly special came back out to play, which led us to our first touchdown, which totally changed the game. A Philly special again. Doug Peterson, the cahoons on this guy. What an outstanding, gritty performance. It was ugly, and there's things to clean up. But look at our wide receiving court today. Now, I mentioned that a big piece of this would be Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard. Zach Ertz was quiet and had a bad night. Dallas Goddard... He made a really nice play in the end zone at one point. One-on-one coverage went up and got it, but he got knocked out of bounds, so it didn't count. And then there was the play where he turned as he caught the ball, got popped, and they actually intercepted the football. Now, I wouldn't say that was his fault. It was the uh, defense making a good play. But at the end of the football game, RT comes up clutch. Now, Julio Jones ripped us apart during that last drive and literally all night as he had 169 yards on 10 receptions. And then late in the game, when it's fourth down, we get the stop. But Jordan Hicks with uh, an illegal block, an illegal touch there, and they get a they get to free to it again. They get another opportunity with one second left, and they go up and make a play. But we knock him out. Now Ronald Darby looked amazing tonight. Ronald Darby looked good on Julio Jones. He made some really crucial plays. One on third down that was beautiful execution. Right after we scored, I mean, such a great gritty win and I get we need to clean a lot of things up and I get that there were some self-inflicted wounds but to come out there and win 18 to 12 and our defense to look that good our defense is so good I mean that defensive line is so lethal it's unbelievable and our cornerbacks and our safeties (laughs) Rodney McLeod making some big time plays he also dropped one that should have been an interception but so did the Falcons at one point Week one, a a lot of penalties. The officiating crew trying to get involved, trying to figure out how they're going to call things. I I think they had a bad game consistently on both sides. The the new you can't put all your weight on the quarterback rule helped us out in our favor, but I mean, that's crap. I I don't understand the rule with that one, but listen, it's it's a big time win. It's a big time win. And this is just hot emotion coming right out of the game. I'm going to sleep on this and talk about this game again. And we're going to talk about it 
But for right now, I just watched it. Those are the key points that I realized. And just just a great, great, gritty win out of this football team. We had a fourth and goal situation for this Atlanta Falcons team early. And our defense shuts the door. You know, the Falcons, that's their big thing. They, their, their red zone struggles are real. And they're going to come out on, on the f- first quarter of this football game and try and slam it down our throats. Where Gruje Hill had something to say about that as he makes the stop. Jordan Hicks looked good with some plays today. Whew. Being 1-0, man. Listen, it wouldn't have been the end of the world if we didn't win this football game. But to win it, it's, it's just that much sweeter. It's that much nicer. That was so big. That was so big. Let me know down below your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.